So Jackass Forever was directed by Jeff Tremaine, and once again it features the Jackass crew, including Johnny Knoxville, Steve-O, uh, Wee Man, uh, Chris Pontius, Preston, Aaron. They all do stupid things, they get hurt, they get concussions, and do I really need to explain the plot of this movie because you already know what it's about. So this is a movie that, I'm going to be honest, I was not looking forward to. I am not a big fan of this franchise. Admittedly, I've only seen the first movie and I didn't really care for it too much. Kind of thought it kind of just got boring after a while. I, I watched it years ago back in like high school and I remember like people in high school really seemed to love this stuff and I just really couldn't get into it. I just thought it was not that funny. So I was honestly kind of dreading seeing this movie because like, what's the point? I'm not a fan of this. Maybe I should just skip this movie, but I still sat through it anyway. And I'm going to be honest, I actually kind of enjoyed this movie. I'm I'm as shocked as... I, I'm just shocked that I actually enjoyed this thing. Like, it's so... I laughed my ass off throughout this entire movie, and I, I honestly am surprised. Like, I had a big goofy smile on my face while watching this movie. Well, for the most part. Uh, what works, mainly, it's just really funny throughout. I laughed at, through most of the stunts. I was laughing, I was cringing, I had to look away at several times, but I'm not going to deny that I laughed. Like, I laughed at a lot of stupid things admittedly, but I gotta admit, they gotta make me laugh. And Jackass Forever surprisingly did that for me. Uh, I liked it's how unpredictable it was. I liked, like, a lot of the moments where it's like, okay, there's, like, one with musical chairs... And it's like, okay, I don't know what's going to happen. And I think that was kind of funny. It's like, okay, who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? And, like, when you see the movie, you know what happens. And it's really fun to watch. I it, it, The trailers don't give away too much of this movie, thankfully, because a lot of it is very rated R. And I'm just I'm just really glad I sat for this. Um, I thought it was a great time in the theater. I think I kind of figured it out. It's like, it's a great time watching in the theater or at least kind of watching with a group of friends where it's like, you can all laugh at the ridiculous things that this group of friends do and I also really surprisingly I actually kind of got a sense of their friendship throughout this entire movie like that was interesting like I kind of didn't get that from the first movie but you know they these guys are like best friends they they love each other their family and it it's effective surprisingly I thought I, I actually laughed a lot but that kind of leads me to my biggest problem with this movie they have a lot of new people in this movie like a younger crowd because obviously these guys are in their late 40s, early 50s maybe, and they're still doing this stuff. And I honestly could not care for most of the new people. They, I, I don't really remember their names. I remember one of them brought their dad on who was afraid of bugs, which that was kind of funny to see this guy who's been in prison kind of being afraid of, of, of a spider, of a tarantula. But other than that, I couldn't care for most of the new people, to be honest. Uh, but overall... Jackass Forever, I was surprised by it. I, I had a good time. It, I knew it didn't take itself too seriously. And I'm glad that it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's a lot of fun. It's unpredictable. It's really it's really fun to see these guys together. And it kind of made me want to go back and actually look at the other uh, Jackass movies to kind of see, like, maybe I'm just, maybe I was just missing something from back, back then when I watched it. Because, like, I didn't understand it then. Maybe I understand it now. It's weird that I'm reading a lot into a, a franchise where a bunch of guys just get hurt, but, you know, weirder things have happened. Also, I did find it interesting, like, they kind of shot this during COVID, which I thought was interesting. It's like, guys, we gotta be safe here. We gotta, we gotta be safe here. We gotta wear a mask. And we gotta socially distance. All right, now let's do this stunt where this person's gonna get hurt. I just thought that was interesting throughout this entire movie. I, I'm just complaining. That was just an... It was just a nitpick, and it was kind of obvious throughout the movie, like, you kind of see people in their masks throughout the movie. It's just kind of odd at times, but, again, other than that, I think this movie's fun. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It's a it's a fun time, just as long as you're okay with a lot of stunts that just perform this movie. Just, or you can just let it slide, because it's, you know, these, this is what these guys are known for. Their friendship is great. It's a lot of fun. Check it out if you can. Just know what you're getting into. Surprisingly, I'm going to give Jackass Forever 3 out of 4 stars. See it. So, what's your favorite Jackass stunt? Who's your favorite Jackass cast member? Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. This is Pat, and stay safe.